Hey, welcome back. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to remove the bezel from the Seiko XKS uh, watch. Um, you might want to remove bezel for various reasons. You want to replace the bezel, put something else on it, do some modifications, or your bezel is stuck and you wanna, in that case, if your bezel is stuck, you cannot turn it. Uh, you wanna pop the bezel off clean the dust and gunk and whatever has collected inside and put it back on it will fix the problem most of the time so here you will see a line here and puzzles are pressure fitted on so you can pop them off I use the dull kitchen knife because it's dull it's bendable uh, so it won't cut me it won't cut my finger I prefer that over Victorinox knife these things are sharp and you can cut yourself so find something dull something kitchen and you can see here uh, just pressure insert uh -huh, this little knife here and insert it and then you just pop it off see and now it's just a matter of prying and this thing came back out so you just pry it off be careful do not cut yourself it's a leverage and the puzzle is off uh, inside here uh, there's a o-ring rubber seal uh, you might want to remove that do not lose it uh, clean that off uh, lubricate it and here uh, if your bezel is stuck uh, you will find uh, all kinds of gunk and dirt collected here and this is a little ring do not lose this do not break it uh, you will see easily how to put it back uh, if you don't know how film it or take some pictures and do it so after that you do your cleaning insert it back and you have your little two notches insert it in the two holes uh, put the puzzle back on and pressure fit it back on um, I recommend putting it on a carpet and like this and just press it uh, equally from outside if you don't have a carpet you may have a book or something like that so you put this on you can see two two dots here two holes uh, you place that into them uh, and make sure it's everything is all right everything is fitted and after that you have a bezel make sure you put the seal back on if you remove it or you replace it uh, don't forget anything if you forget it you'll have to do it again so this is how I do it I'm not a professional so I just want to share just a little pressure and it's on but it's not completely on so uh, right now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna turn it back and pressure it against something hard what I use I will use a book or on a carpet because that way you won't scratch anything and damage it just place it and just apply a little pressure with a palm until you hear a click and that's it uh, that's really it and it works uh, it's nice and that's it. Hope this someone helps and thank you for watching. I'm EDC Gunner and please subscribe.